I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh the Father in the name of his Son, who the world knows is Jesus Christ. In the Hebrew tongue, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. And I've already done a video about enduring and, and endure chastising or chastisement, whatever, however you want to say it. And, uh, but I'm going to do another video because I was supposed to go out and to the waterfront today, but I didn't make it because, you know, I'm letting other things get me down. So we got to stand this word and we got to continue to go forward. So it's for all my people who, who try to keep the faith, having, having faith in the father and the son and, and you know, who keeping it going. It's just encouragement and uplift, uplifting, you know what I mean? So we're going to start off with Proverbs 11 and 1 because it should be known that no matter what you're going through, you got to understand, you, it might seem like a long time you're going through something bad, but it's, it shouldn't just be um, all bad. It's a balance, you know what I mean? So you might be going through every day, wake up with something new, man, you catch a hell. But it's also going to be some good coming. Some light, the light is coming because the Lord tell you it, it's it's a uh, let me just read it Proverbs eleven verse one a false balance and an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. So it's like you got hot and cold, you got on and off, night and day. You know what I mean? All these things is a reputation of how things work. So you're not just gonna catch hell forever. It's gonna be some good coming. You know what I mean? And another thing is we we often. We get mad when we going through things, like stuff ain't happening. I do it myself sometimes. I have to remind myself. That's why it's good to read, as the scriptures say in Isaiah 34 and 16. Um, you have to read, you know what I mean? Even in Revelations 1, you got to read. Blessed is he who reads, because you need to know these things. Um, but when the Lord, it's a good thing when the Lord is dealing with you, and you might be going through some, uh, oops. You might be going through some things. You should take that and be happy. You know what I mean? Don't get all mad. The story of Job is a great um, book to read. Everybody needs to read it because it deals with us. It's it's a representation of things, how we're going to go through it. So don't get mad. Just endure to the end. The Lord got you. Don't trip. Everybody is different. Um so what he goes through, I might not go through. But trust me, it's going to be some stuff that's going to make you want to say, forget all this. Man, I just want to go do something else. I just want to go smoke. You might stop smoking. But it's, everything stresses you out so much, I just want to say, forget it. I'm just even maybe a day, you might say, man, today my cheat day. I just got, hey, look, brother, we all go through this. Sisters, too. We all go through it. But try your best. To endure to the end because, you know what I mean, nothing you do for the Lord is in vain and don't let nobody tell you that it is. And he's watching every day, every second. He says eyes, the scripture says eyes is 10 times, 10,000 times brighter than the sun. So you see everything. So if you're doing things to please the Lord, you think he going to let that go? No, he's not. Trust me. So we're going to read Hebrews 12, verse 6. And it reads, for whom the Lord loveth, he chastises and scourge, scourges every son whom he receiveth. So if he love you, he going to instruct you. He also is going to rebuke you. He's going to give you instruction. It just basically means if my mom or my dad see me doing something that's stupid and I wasn't supposed to be doing, who would they be if they didn't say, what are you doing? You don't need to be doing that. Might even whoop me. Might put me on punishment. It's the same thing that the Lord do. He's our father. In every word is where it comes from. And now his son is given all authority. Um, he's our king. He's our Lord. It's the same thing. So every, and scourges every son who he receiveth. If ye endure chastisement, chastening, God dealeth with you as with, us, as with sons. For which son is he whom the father chastises not? So chasteneth not. Excuse me. So who would you be if the Lord just ain't dealing with you? He's just letting you do whatever you want throughout your whole life. Then you die and then bam. That's, you don't want that. So we shouldn't complain when we're going through hard times and stuff. We have to understand this is a part of the scriptures too. This is a part of life. He already told us that. And that's why it's good to read. You know what I mean? Um, verse 8. 
But if ye be without chastisement, where whereof all are partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons. So the definition for bastards is somebody who has not a father. So basically, if you just living and everything going good for you, nobody ain't got nothing bad to say about you. You just, everybody like you. You 100%. You rich and everything. Everything good. You don't want to be that person. Unless you just a wicked individual and you don't care about, you know, what these scriptures say. And you don't care about the Lord. But the Lord is telling you that you have to endure these things because he's testing you. He's making gold. He purifying you. And I mean, and you know, that's how they do it with, with gold. They burn it and get all the impurities out of it. That's the same thing he's doing with you. So you got to make it through this. And it's, you know, for me too. This is one of the things I'm going through. You know what I mean? So it's just some uplifting. And then we're going to go to Romans 18, I believe. Uh, excuse me. It's Romans uh, 8. Because these are the things that you think about when you're going through these things. And this and this is for people who actually, you know, praying without ceasing, as uh, First Thessalonians tell you, um, chapter 5, I believe. Um, following the law, statutes, commandments, like Christ told you. And, and look, I'm not, we ain't arguing about that. Whatever commandments that you think he told you when he said, if you love me, you keep my commandments. Whatever commandments you think it is, hey, look, just follow those, at least. Just do that. This, that's what I'm talking to people who are actually trying to do what the Lord told them to do. Because you're gonna catch hell if you actually trying to do what the Lord catch, trying to tell you to do. Because uh, the spiritual demon, Satan, he ain't gonna let that slide. <laughs> he coming for you. You know what I mean? He's gonna try to throw you off and make you go back into the life that you was going, that you came from. Trust and believe. That's how this work. And he'll try it all. You see what he did to Job? He's at the brink of death. And it's hard because you might see people doing, enjoying their life, doing what they're doing. And you going through hell, man. And you supposed to be doing, and you doing what the Lord told you to do. And they ain't doing nothing the Lord told them to do. And they, you know what I mean? So you got to read these scriptures and, and, and you find comfort in these scriptures because you're not going to find it in this world. This is Romans 8, verse 18. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time, the things that you're going through right now, if you, you know what I mean, you wake up, you got to be to work at 8.30 and it's 8.15, you come outside and you have tire on the flat. The next day, you lose your wallet. The next day, you know what I mean, uh, the next day, you, you got to go to the hospital. You, you've been sick for three months. You, you know what I mean? All these things, the, the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. So you got to remember, no suffering, even until death. Uh, is not worthy to be compared to what's to come, that what he got for you. We believe in this Bible wholeheartedly. I know it to be true. I got plenty of testimony. I'm telling you now it's true. You know what I mean? So what he telling you is the stuff to come, you can't even fathom it. it and none of this is going to matter when that comes. All the things that you went through, people laughed at you. you on the corners. You ain't, For my brothers bringing it out, they saying, uh, what the heck is, what is he doing? He got it. Uh, carpet at the end of his shirt. What is it? What is them fringes? He ain't nobody. Laughing at you, all the women. All, you know what I mean? Niggas walking past you smoking. This nigga tripping. You know what I mean? All this stuff. Look, forget all that, man. And trust me, I know it to be hard because I go through it. But it's not going to be compared to nothing that the Lord has coming for you. New bodies, the stuff we're going to see. Just the feeling. You ain't got to worry about dying. You ain't got to worry about none of this stuff, man. This is not a fairy tale. It's very real. You do not have to worry about none of this, man. So, you know, I just saw that I'm going to bring out. Oh, actually, I got one more out there. I'm going to go to side rack. Because a lot of people, they come into this thing, and, you know, you might have been a popular person. You might have been, uh, you know, Paul was a Pharisee, man. He was very high, high esteemed. High status. He gave it all up. Moses did too. He's just famous people, man. They gave it up for the Lord. So you might be, you might be, you know, somebody everybody like. You might have it going for yourself. And, and we talking about man and woman because the Bible was written in a masculine form, meaning even when it's saying man, most of the time it's talking about women too. You're not left out. So you might be a woman who was held highest thing, you know, 
Got it, got it going for you. Great job. All this stuff. Uh, whatever the case may be. Then all of a sudden, you find out this truth. You stop going out. You stop, you know, you stop doing all the stuff you weren't supposed to do. And then, bam, you start catching hell. Things start going, start getting temptations. You start, you know what I mean? It start being very hard because contrary to popular belief, this is not all whistling Dixies and, and candy and, you know what I mean, and popcorn, man. The, the way to the Lord is easy. Yeah, he said his joke is easy, but it is, it's not easy when these temptations is coming in. you going through the lower state. You get changed to a lower state. All the stuff that you're going through. No, it's easy for you to say it is, for somebody else who ain't going through it to say it, but no, they don't know what you're really going through. The Lord is going to make sure it's not easy. You're not about to just get to the kingdom. Um, you know, skipping. You're not skipping in the kingdom. You're going to go through some stuff. So this is Sirach, chapter 2. I'm going to start from the top. My son, women too, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thine heart aright and constantly endure and make haste and make not haste in time of trouble. Cleave unto him and depart not away that thou may be increased in thy last end. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. For gold is tried in the fire, an acceptable man in the furnace of adversity. So that's self-explanatory, man. I just told you. The Lord, he's going to try you in the fire. He has to take all them impur impurities out of you. That zinc, that copper, um, you know, all the things that's in the gold that's making it not 100% pure. And he's going to mold you into 100% pure gold at your last end. That's why we faithful unto death. So, you know what I mean, regardless of what happens, you got to be faithful. And I know it's easier said than done. I know. Trust me. So this is just... Um, to uplift my brothers and sisters out there who really try to keep the faith because, you know, we want our brothers, everybody to make it, but we know that that's not going to happen. You know what I mean? But according to the Lord, we know that's not going to happen. So for us, you know, everybody else, they got their way to cope with their stuff. We got people telling them. So the Lord got, the Lord got people out here for his people too. You know what I mean? To talk to it. So this is for y'all, man. Keep it lit. Keep enduring to the end. And we have a reward because nothing that you do is in vain when you're doing it for the Lord. He said his eyes is 10,000 times brighter than the sun. Everything you're doing, he see it. So if you try to please him, that's the best way to go. Don't ever think that it's going. And don't say, um, and I can just do this one time. The Lord ain't going. He ain't going. It's just one time. Yeah, he said offend less. But just always try to be 100%, you know, doing the right thing. Of course, you're going to go off. When you do, you repent. And keep it pushing. And with that being said, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Father, Yahweh, in the, in the name of his Son, Jesus Christ, who the world knows as Jesus Christ, in the Hebrew, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, one lot. Um, and uh, yeah, endure to the end, everybody. Shalom.